so tight, 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 tight and tight. What's <laughs> up? What is up? <laughs> uh, Hi, I'm Erin. I'm Nicole. Welcome to Dude That's Fucked Up. Yup. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Clown emoji, clown emoji. Clown emojis all <laughs> over the place. You sent me so many clown emojis. In my head, I was like, whoop, 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 <laughs> every, mo- every emoji. <laughs> Guys, we are together in the same room in my house. Oh my god, with Jack. With Jack. Jack's chilling over here. He's yeah. sleeping like the fucking champion. He's not that time. Yeah, he just ate some some titty milk and he is out. He ate two titty milks. <laughs> two titty milks. <laughs> I'll have a double. I'll have a double said. titty milk. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it's super cool. Nicole and Pete are here. Yeah. It's so lovely. DJ is out of town, but he'll be back tonight. Yeah. So we can all hang fun. out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he, he banished Pete. He's out. He, I think he's at a bar. The, the uh, There's like a tapas bar. Oh, there's a million. Oh, okay. He's like, I'm going to go get some pinchos or whatever. What are they? Pinchos. Pinchos, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go get some pinchos and read. I was like, oh. How delightful. Live your life. Yes. Get some cocktails. Oh, I said, I'll be working. Oh. No. <laughs> Ugh, work, 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 work. Um, it's not work. No, we're having so much fun. We, yeah. we like, even, we've been like shooting the shit for like, a while hours. and like trying to figure out how to, how to get set up uh to record together because yeah. we like never do it we always have to do like separate vocals so it's, yeah. it's weird but we've done it twice and this is our third time and we forget how to do it each time and each time it's different yeah because we don't like have a mixer or, like fancy no. shit so we're just we're like usually not together no it's it's cool well and it's so nice to have you here uh-huh. i'm so glad jack is finally meeting his don't share oh don't share and he's meeting you in real life and not over, like, FaceTime. Yeah. It's pretty cool. And I made him a gift. Oh, my God, you guys. Nicole made fucking party pants for Jack. They're so cool. I sewed them. I fucking hand stowed she, sewed them. She handmade a gift for my child. Oh, my God. The best d'enchere of all time. Of all time. <laughs> of forever and ever. And I was very delighted because we got here and there was this, there was this little, um, like, it's a little stuffed Bowie doll. Oh yeah, that, <laughs> that I had delivered to Erin, but it did come with a note, so she didn't know who sent it. But it was out right next to the baby when I walked in, and I was like, "Ooh, that's good." It it's oh, I always have it out. Yeah, it's like, I like it. It's I just so like cute. looking at it. It's so cute. And it it's, compliments the CD. Yeah, and sometimes I use him to like prop him up when he's like in the little thing, and because he, he likes to roll to the side a little bit. Oh. So yeah, until he like can start like figuring out how to lay like a normal person. Yeah. He's he's got the Bowie doll to prop him up. The little stuff Ziggy Stardust. Yeah, it's super cute. Uh, um, am I the best danseur or am I the best danseur? You are the the top danseur, <laughs> the top dog, <laughs> the top dong share. Dong, dong. <laughs> no, you're not a dong share. <laughs> no. I don't want to be that. A, I don't. A dong share reminds me like of. Like a like a bike share or a. Uh, <laughs> but you share dongs. Yeah, you share dongs. It's kind of like a, a email that we're gonna read in a little bit. Oh my god, I'm really excited. Yeah. We, we had like thought we were gonna do like a topic, and you know, <laughs> we're like, oh, let's do something DC centric. Or I was. Yeah. No. Yeah. We were like. We were, ta- we were talking be fun, about it because we're here. Yeah, but you know. We just didn't. No, we didn't prepare. We, we didn't pick a topic. We, I feel like I had a little bit of topic paralysis. Like, what's going to be so good? Same, same. Yeah. It's like you just want it to be, like, when you're face-to-face. Yeah. It's just, it's going to be so fun. But, like, yeah. usually when we're face-to-face, we, we just want to talk and, uh, like, shoot the shit. Yeah. So, it's kind of what we're going to do. Yeah. We and had our, like, serious talk earlier. Now we get to have fun talk. Yeah. We were, like, talking about serious shit. Oh, God. Serious life stuff. Yeah. Like, best friend stuff. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so we're really, like, really gassed up and yeah. ready to <laughs> ready to talk about more fun stuff. Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Um. Should we read emails now? Or is yeah. there anything else you want to talk about? Um. Like, business. No. No. It's just very fun to be here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're here. Today and tomorrow, and then we leave on Sunday kind of early. Boo. Boo. But I feel like that's good. Yeah, we're going to, um like, go, we're going to take Jack to a, a beer garden Hell again. Yeah. We did it last weekend, and it went well. We yeah. went to dinner last night. Oh, yeah. F- first time. Mm-hmm. Sat outside. <gasps> Al fresco. Oh, my gosh. It was delightful. We had froze. We had froze. Oh, my God. We are so basic. Jack uh, was chill as fuck, though. Oh, my God. He was so chill. 
He's precious. Um, I held him yesterday, and he, like, kind of almost fell asleep. Oh, my God. It was real cute, guys. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It was so cute. Um, you, you have the touch. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, we... <laughs> We are just, we're just hanging out and yeah. hopefully, um, tomorrow at the beer garden goes as good as it did last time and yeah. we can just like eat some brunch and hang out and, yeah. and be, be best friends. Oh my God. Oh, what a treat. Yeah. I just like passing him around too. I yeah. Mean, like I haven't held him yet today, so I'll probably do that in a little bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before I go to the spy museum. <laughs> the spy museum is so fun. Yeah. I love it. I'm excited. Um, yeah, you and Pete should do some touristy stuff while you're here yeah, for we are. sure. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And uh I don't know. It's going to be a great weekend. Yeah. I'm excited. Me too. There's some friends here in DC who want to see you too. So. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh. Totally. I know. I was thinking about everyone. I was like, I hope I get to see them. But also not the priority. No offense to them. <laughs> uh, but you know, well, we're doing we're doing it we're all. We're doing all the things. Yeah. I figure tomorrow, if we have a place where we're going, like it's like we'll be here at this point. Exactly. Then people can decide if they want to come or not. If totally. they don't, hey, what no else? big deal. Yeah. yeah. All right. I know because ideally we would have done like a like a longer live, yeah or like a live episode somewhere oh, or like a meetup. That would have been fun. Yeah. yeah. But it's different now with the baby. It's hard yeah. to like be able to plan plan stuff. things because he's very new. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm here such a short time. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. All right. Next time. Um. So we do have some listener emails. We haven't yes. We haven't read listener emails in a while, so we're going to do that. We've um, been saving them. We have a lot. We yeah, have a lot. that We have a whole backlog. What, we do. But we're just going to read a few. These are some more recent ones yeah. um, that were delightful. So um, <laughs> um, I'll go first. Okay. This one is from – a. I, should I say her name? Do they want you to? I don't know. I, she didn't – I think she did. She said oh, okay. it was okay. Her name's Emily. Okay. Um, And the subject line is, Target is not safe. Oh, no. Great, great, you know, we already know where this is going to go, I it's think. It's a callback to a, a former uh, listener Story. email. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, let me just read it. Okay. Hey, Erin and Nicole. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Um, I absolutely love your podcast and your friendship. So do we. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, uh, I bet you I love it more. Uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so she continues. I listen all day while I'm working, and it makes my day go so much faster. I, it was only recently that I started listening. I got hooked on And That's Why We Drink and uh, then found you guys. Yes. Yes. Um. I'm on episode 16 and just re-listen, just listened to the story someone else submitted about being in Target and someone trying to recruit them for a multi-level marketing company. This has happened to me, and she goes into caps, twice in the same Target. Oh, my God. God damn it. That Target is a Target. Dude, I wonder, do they say where they're from? We don't know. I yet. don't know. Oh, I'm not sure. I wonder if it's the same one Laura went to. Maybe. Shout out to Laura. Shout out to Laura. For being the OG yeah. Target email. Yeah. Um, and then she, so she says, both times it was a pretty, well-dressed woman, and they both started off by complimenting something I was wearing. Oh. The first time, the woman started by complimenting my Sperry's. That should have been my first clue. I've had them for years, and they look like shit, but I love them, and I can't bear to part with them. That's funny. <laughs> Uh, fast forward 20 minutes later and she's invited me to coffee. I was new to the area at the time. So I was like, yay, a new friend. She was not a friend. I met her for coffee. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Oh, this makes me sad. This is making me sad and also uncomfortable because like people don't do that anymore. I feel like, like someone's not like, Hey, like we should hang out. Cause you'd be like, Oh, Oh. Yeah. Like you'd almost be put off by it. I well, like. I've done that a couple times. So, like, um, I, I, m- I made a friend, like, a, a while back when I w- was walking my friend's dog before Jack came. I met this girl at the dog park, and oh. she's like, oh, I just moved here. Like, um, my sister lives here, and my parents are in the area, but I, like, really don't know anybody. And I'm like, girl, let's hang out. And we totally did. Oh. We, like, got lunch together, and, like, we, like, text each other still every now and then. She has, like, a... She has, like, a crazy, like, hectic schedule. She was oh. trying really hard to get a job here, and she finally did. And then, of course, like, it's I had like, the baby. So it's, oh, like, okay. we haven't seen each other in a while. But she's, like, super cool and sweet. Oh. And, yeah, it was – it totally was an organic 
not organic. It was kind of inorganic because it was like, it's so hard when you're an adult making friends, yeah. I think. But I w- she was just so nice and open. And I, you know, when you get into a conversation with somebody like that, yeah. you're like, I don't know. It was just like a, a very serendipitous, nice like chat. So. And she hasn't tried to sell you doTERRA or no, and oils. Exactly. And she's just... She's That's just, a real friend. Though. Yeah. She's yeah. she's a real, real angel. So yeah. Anyway. um, Okay. Back to the email. Okay. Uh, she was not a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I met her for coffee and conveniently her husband, quote, had a meeting canceled at work. So he came too. They oh. showed me a pamphlet for their company that had no actual name and they All they talked about was how much money I could make. I knew it was a scam, but I was too polite to get up and leave. Damn, my Midwestern upbringing in parentheses. Uh, (laughs) Oh, I know. I don't think – I mean, I'm not from the Midwest, but I would probably sit through it. I don't know. Uh, Well, it's that thing of being polite. Yeah. Yeah. This is also how you get murdered, obviously. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Any any questions I asked, they wouldn't answer and said that they – that – Said that would be covered in an exclusive meeting. I added the the <laughs> underline to the exclusive. <laughs> exclusive. Exclusive. <laughs> exclusive meeting with a group of their other, quote, recruits that I had to be invited to go to. At the end, they invited me and said, and I said I would think about it, but then ghosted and then never responded to their texts or emails and blocked them. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I love the, uh, the oops at the end. <laughs> oops. Oh, gross. Yeah. That I being like double team like that is yeah. really I feel like intimidating probably. And like you would definitely not be able to like say no as easily if it was just like one person, I think. Yeah, you're like ganged up on. Yeah. Also, uh why wouldn't there be like a courtesy text? Maybe there was, but like you know, before you get there, like, oh, hey, my husband had a meeting canceled. He's going to meet up with us. Uh, but then I would That's be like, so are weird. swingers? Like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, like, why? I don't want to meet her husband. Yeah. Like, what, what? I'm just trying to make her, like, a girlfriend. Yeah. Like, that, that would set alarm bells off for me, maybe. I don't know. Dude, it goes back to, like, how these things prey on women. Yeah. Fucking, why doesn't he go out and find a friend? Yeah. Because guys don't want to have coffee with each other? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Well, that was her first, the first recruit. Oh, right. And then the second lady. Oh, my God. She says, the second lady happened a few months later, and she complimented my scarf. Um, but this said, time she was like, like on edge. She's like, well, what? Well, she says, that compliment was actually deserved. Oh. It was a cute scarf. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and she just kept asking me questions, and then it turned to work, and the light bulb came on. She was with the same company. <gasps> and she said that in all caps. I couldn't believe it. I turned her down right there. Good job. Oh. That was over a year ago, but now I re- refuse to talk to anyone in Target unless they actually work there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Target is supposed to be a safe place for me to go and wander around for two hours because I'm bored and buy things that I absolutely do not need. That is so true. Yeah. Anyway, that was a novel. No, it was perfect. Um, you did a great job. This is a great email. Um, oh and she God. says, you guys are awesome. You make me laugh all day long and I'm so happy. I have a lot more episodes to listen to before I'm caught up. Aww. Keep up the good work, Emily. Do you think she's still listening? I hope so. <laughs> she got a few more. She's like, oh, you know, this is not for me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, that's so, yeah. Yeah. That's... Target is supposed to be a safe place and these fuckers come in here and try to get you to join whatever bullshit goddamn mlm it sucks that. dude also i wonder if like like because this mlm is obviously using that as a tactic mm-hmm. like going to target and finding and complimenting females. clothing yeah complimenting <laughs> and also like as that stops working are they going to catch on and start wearing like a red shirt like so like Ooh, when you so go, people m- mistakenly think that they I that's what I would do if I was a sneaky snake bitch oh, yeah. trying to smell <laughs> trying to slang fucking MLM you sneaky snake bitch yeah <laughs> I would I would trick people yeah. and then be like oh my god I don't work here but let me just say oh like, my god I feel like you could use some fucking diet pills <laughs> <laughs> and then that'd be rude I know I know <laughs> But then I then I would like try to be nice about it somehow. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, I really feel like you would love these diet pills. Have you tried wrapping your abdomen in <laughs> saran wrap? It totally works. 
No. It doesn't. <laughs> oh, my, in saran wrap? I don't know what the fuck those wrap thingies are. Yeah. Oh, my. If it's just saran wrap, dude, they make a ton of money then. I mean. You mark that up for, like, $15. Yeah. It's just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like Crisco and saran wrap. <laughs> Uh, well that was a delight i'm so sorry emily that you keep getting fucking harassed trying to just buy some fucking candles and dog food and you know maybe a new bathing suit at target that's yeah it's rude it's It's really rude that's rude also they have like some good korean skincare stuff there now too oh really yeah target is the shit yeah it's pretty good yeah well, All right. Um, I'll read one now. Okay. Um, this is from Chrissy, who is, said they would be, and I'm paraphrasing, pretty stoked if we run their um, Sweet. email. So, uh, okay. Hey, dudes. I discovered your podcast a couple weeks ago from listening to And That's Why We Drink. Shout out to Evan Christine. Yes. The other dudes in my life. Yeah. Love them. Uh, I, uh, I really wanted to go to Christine's wedding. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got invited. <laughs> No big deal. Um, but it's so in, cool. It's like in another state. And I was like far. It's in the oh, Midwest no. where she's from. Oh. And I was like, oh man, I can't afford to go do that. But, Aww. but I'm sure it would be fun. Um, okay, so listening to and That's Why We Drink. And I love you guys. Your wit, cheesy puns, <laughs> and goofy back and forth are so entertaining. I just listened to episode 31. Cool story, Brahi. <laughs> <laughs> I love that episode. It's so good. It's so fun. Um, on, honestly, it sounds like you could be on an episode of Drunk History. Uh, Hi, yeah, I will. Thank yeah, you. Life goals. I'm very good at getting drunk and talking. So I mean, I'm not a famous person, so I don't know that they would want me on there doing a thing. But No, but a lot of the people who are like doing the drunk part uh-huh. are like writers and stuff. Okay. So I feel like you don't have to be well, famous. Well, I'm, I'm not a writer. I don't do anything. <laughs> You're a, a comedy person with a podcast. Oh, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Fair. You're a comedian. Um. Okay. You're a per- you're a personality. Okay. Yeah. 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 All right. Thank you. You're making me feel so good. I'm just saying the facts. Okay. Okay. Um. Anyway, yeah. Like, if anyone's listening to this, definitely. We'd, yeah. We'd totally be on. That. I would be on that. And you can have two for one. I. Like, you don't even have to pay us. I. That is one of my favorite fucking shows it's of so all good. time. It's so good. Ugh. Um, one of, oh man, I love the, fir- one of the first ones with, uh, Jen, shoot, what's her last oh, name? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I forget her last name. I'm thinking of so many Jens right now. I know. Anyway, she like f- forgets that she's wearing a skirt and she thinks she took her pants <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it's so good. So fun. Um, Okay. <laughs> Uh, so honestly, it sounds like you could be on an episode of Drunk History. The whole time I was picturing you two doing a voiceover with some actors in that time setting. I was cackling in my car the whole time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, uh, I love that. We were probably also drunk in that episode because we used to drink while we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we stopped doing that. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'll get a beer now if you want one. Ooh, or we could finish that rosé from last night. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm going to grab it right now. <laughs> keep, go- keep going with the story. <laughs> All right. I'm doing it now. Uh, okay. A few years ago... Oh, sorry. I skipped a part. And I'm not even drunk yet. Okay. Um, anywho. Your intrigue with buttholes... <laughs> uh, anywho, your intrigue with buttholes inspired me to write in. So, here's a fun read. Oh, no. So, here's a fun, red, fucked up story for y'all. A few years ago, my ex and I went to Cedar Point, an amusement park about two and a half hours north of Columbus, Ohio, which is my hometown. Shout out. Shout out to the Columbus, Ohio people. Yeah, what up? What up? It was an incredibly hot summer day. We trekked through the park and rode a few roller coasters, and then we saw a ride called Max Air. Oh, dear. (laughs) That looked super fun. Basically, it's on a huge-ass pendulum, and there's a singular beam that goes down to the ground with a huge circle at the end with seats all around the outside. Whoops. Whoops. Hello. Who that? Cheers. Cheers. Um, okay, basically, oh, I just read that part. Uh, when you ride it, the circle you're strapped to itself spins in a circle while the pendulum simultaneously swings back and forth. It goes crazy high into the air, and it's amazing. So we decided to get, we decided to get on. So it's like a, um... I'm trying to picture this. So it's like an upside-down mushroom that, like, swings back and forth. Ah, uh, okay. Right? It has, like, a round part. Okay. Or, like, oh. a push-pop. It's, 
like an upside down, you know, the plastic part of a yeah, flip-flop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh, like upside oh, down and the seats okay. are around it. But it also it, spins. Yeah, but, but it also, also like a pendulum. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I totally know. Oh my God, it's the push pop reference. Oh, That's shit. what really won us over. He spit up so much. Ew! <laughs> How did he hold it in that long? I don't know, man. Does he need to get out? Oh, it's still coming. Oh, it's chunks. It's chunky. <laughs> Sorry. Everything's fine. Yeah, totes. Okay. Okay, so they're on this thing. Tight. We're being flung into the air, all is well, when suddenly at the peak of the ride, I feel something incredibly cold hit my chest. Ew. 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 What? It's cold. Oh. Um, my initial thought was, did someone just throw ice at me? Oh, what? wow. Uh, <clears throat> however, I could not have been more wrong. I looked down at my chest and there is bird shit streaked across no me. <laughs> no why is it cold maybe because it was coming from so high up or something i don't know <laughs> the altitude, the altitude. on the way down yeah like you know how like uh rain turns into hail oh you know? yeah or like like when you're on a plane like you get ice crystals on the outside of the window yeah yeah totally um oh my god i gasp in horror still on this fucking ride i would be fuck gagging. what do you do i'd be gagging at hard. least it didn't go in your mouth though oh my god well, we don't know. We're not done yet. Yeah, I know. I'm, But yeah, I don't think so. I think they would have said. I'm shouting at my ex that I've just been pelted with a fucking mess of shit and I'm just in <laughs> shock. <laughs> the ride finally ends and I'm beside myself. Turns out my boyfriend had also been assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good one. Oh, what a treat. What I a like treat. that they wrote ha ha in parentheses like they laughed at their own joke. That's very on brand for me. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Um, As had the couple next to us. Wow. It got wow. four people. Dude, that is a bird that was really letting go of something dude or was the ride just spinning that fast yeah. like it should have just hit one person but it was like uh-huh yeah. yeah who knows high velocity um what had this bird been eating how did it have the capacity to rain shit onto four whole humans whilst timing it perfectly so that we were 100 plus feet in the air wow i was livid i went to the bathroom to try and wash it off but to no avail ew it like hardened or oh something oh my god Oh, I was so angry and beside myself that I made my ex drive us back home. I mean, that that's kind of a day ruiner for yeah. sure. Yeah. Although I, so when I read this, I wrote her back and I was like, um, it could have been worse. Truly, it could have been vomit, like from a human. Is that worse? I don't know. I think yeah, so. Yeah, because that would have been warm first of all. And what you never know what that person's eating. It or could like, have been like chunky or or like beery. Ew. Or the, you know, like they have like hoof and mouth disease. Ew. Oh. Oh my god. Fuck. Or you get some like airborne, but you could get fucking avian flu or bird flu or whatever oh, from from bird shit, right? I don't know. Bird shit's dirty. They eat trash. That's true. Birds Dude, are disgusting. Birds are disgusting. Um, my brother got shit on at Disneyland when we were kids, and <laughs> it was pretty funny. But and, he was not. And he he got fucking hepatitis B. He grew up to be a bird, so. <laughs> uh, he got <laughs> hepatitis B. Bird. Bird. <laughs> B dash I R D. Oh, what a treat. God damn it. Uh, the silver lining to this story is that we've since broken up. And the man I've been Oh, with... no. That's the silver lining, I guess. Well, yeah. if he's gross. Yeah. I mean, he, he was covered in shit. Yeah. And the man I've been with for over three years got us tickets to Cedar Point last week. We had a fantastic time and even rode that same ride, which ended completely shitless. <laughs> I mean, maybe that was the universe telling her, like, this is not the person you're supposed to be with. Yeah. Look at how you are literally getting shit on with yeah. this person. Yeah. You know? Maybe it was, like, the world, like, made that happen. Yeah. 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 That's well, good. fair enough. I don't know. I Hope don't you guys know. enjoyed this eventful story. I would love for you to read it on an episode. We did. Girl. Girl. There you go. You got it. Best wishes. Stay excellent to one another. Chrissy. Chrissy. I love that story. I'm really sorry you got shit on. I mean. Same. That sucks. Ugh. But also, you know, could have been puke. Or yeah. or human shit. <laughs> what if somebody yeah. just sharded? sharded. <laughs> but like wet, like very wet shard. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Rough. Oh, God. Yeah, human shit would be the worst probably. Yeah, the, definitely. All right. Um, I have this one from Carly. Okay. Um, and the subject line is my stupid fucked up story. Oh. Um, she says, hi, Erin and Nicole. 
So I've been hi. binging the podcast. Oh, hi, Carly. Hi. So I've been binging the, car- the Carly. <laughs> 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 The Carly Ray Jepsen. Um, so I've been binging the podcast for the last few weeks. Almost caught up. And I just listened to the stalker episode. Nicole said something that triggered a memory and I had to share it with you. Uh-oh. Nicole said something along the lines of, have you ever been sitting in your car and felt like somebody is watching you? Oh. Is the stalker episode Sandy B? Yeah, Sandy B. Um, side note, I watched uh, Ocean's 8 on the plane. It's so good. It was very good. Um, Rihanna is like my queen. Oh, so. she's a queen, yeah. Um, Sandy B looked great. A little bit like Michael Jackson. Uh, a little bit. You could little too see that she a little too tight. Yeah, yeah, she had a little too much filler in her upper lip. Mm. And things weren't moving. But what else? She looks good, and mm-hmm. there's a lot of pressure on her. She's mm-hmm. a Hollywood actress. Mm-hmm. Um, where was I going with this? Sitting in the car. Oh, oh. right. Because I think. In the beginning of that episode, I talked about... Did I talk about when I, like, when I was drinking a fa- frappuccino and there was a guy looking at me? I think so. Okay. And I was, like, driving. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. All right. I was just trying to remember what that was from. Oh, I was like, oh, did you have more to the story? No. <laughs> <laughs> it ends there. Oh. I'll drink my wine. Go have, on. Drink your wine. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. And she says, well... Buckle in, because this is a wild ride. Okay. Ooh, bitch, is this Mr. Toads? Oh, we're going on a wild ride. <laughs> she says, I used to work at the front desk for a spa that closed at 10 p.m. Wow, that's pretty fucking late. Who yeah. is at the spa that fucking late? Go home. <laughs> like, I guess. Like, what do you need a facial for at 9 p.m.? What if you, like, work all day? I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's... Carly needs to go home. Maybe they open late. Maybe it's like a 12 to 10 p.m. Mm, spa. Maybe. I maybe guess, for the I guess working it, woman. I guess it makes sense. Yeah. But like. But also why? Yeah. But also like. Get out. Get out. Yeah. Like my my poor girl Carly shouldn't be there so fucking late. Fucking late. Um, so yeah. She says, one night after locking up after the night shift, I walked by, my, by myself across a very big parking lot where the only other car was parked a space away from my car. And it was running with a man at the driver's seat just kind of sitting there. Ooh. Fucking nope. Yeah. Um, she says, I was put on high alert immediately because out of all the places he could have parked, he was right by me. Absolutely not. No. God damn it. Why? Get out of there. <laughs> Is it like comforting to him to park by the other car? Like, was he scared? <laughs> Bitch. Oh, my God. Go away. Yeah. Um, and was, his dick was out. Yeah. Oh, no. God. <laughs> That's another story. I know. That's where I thought this was going when I first read it. And I was like, oh, God, oh, oh God. God. Um, uh, as I approached my car, I saw there was a flyer under the windshield wiper and immediately thought of all those urban legends slash internet stories of how people will do that to mark you as a target and either jump you while you get it off your windshield or keep an eye on your car and follow you. <gasps> Fuck. Oh, my God. I that's didn't real. That was the thing. No, that's real. That's real. Um, if you're ever, like, in a parking lot, especially, like, a parking um, – structure yeah uh and like there's something on your car they want you to get back out they want you to yeah they want you to get back out or they want you to like be distracted and gr- grabbing the thing off so they can like either box you in or oh like God. grab you or whatever the fuck no um so she says i left the flyer under my windshield and immediately locked my door behind me when i got in my car before quickly driving away good girl um almost immediately the other car followed me out of the lot god damn it this is so oh, fucked that's up. Scary. Even if it's a fucking coincidence, like if you're a dude, just like have the wherewithal to just not be fucking creepy. You it's know, because they don't know. That's why we have to have like the discussion. Yeah, you know, it's like we have to constantly remind dudes, you scare me when you walk too close to me at night. Uh, Even if you're yeah. on your phone, not paying attention, it's scary to me. Yeah, I'll have a. St- I have a story of my own <gasps> after this. Oh my god. Um, that I'll tell. But anyway, so she says. Almost immediately, the other car followed me out of the lot. Now I'm really freaked out. My mind is racing, and I immediately think about where the closest fast food drive through is because if he followed me me in, I'd be sure he was following me and could ask the drive through employees to call the cops without getting out of my car. Yeah. And if he didn't, I could get a McFlurry to ease my anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> I love this thought process. That's very um, smart. It's super smart. Go to where people are. Yes, definitely. Um. And then she says, I don't know why cell phones didn't occur to me. Because, well, because you could still call and not be sure. You know what I mean? And and you could be like, you know, 
Yeah. But there's no problem if you do call it and you aren't sure, right? Yeah. If you're scared and someone But I think the 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 um reaction of wanting to go where people are is is, good. is the right yeah. is the right reaction regardless if you're going to call the the cops at the same yeah. time. Like it doesn't matter, you know. Just go where go to where the people are. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Well, yeah. I mean, also being not sure, it's like, well, you can always apologize. Yeah. Later, you could still call the police, but also that might be hard because you're like, I'm. Well, I'm you don't want to. You don't want to waste like resources and, and stuff. And you're driving. Yeah. 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 Anyway, so she's she's coming up with this plan. So she says, as I'm coming up with this plan, this guy has been driving behind me for a few blocks. Oh. Oh God. Oh sorry. Oh. Sorry, little bug. Um, yeah. so as I'm coming up with this plan and this guy has been driving behind me for a few blocks, I pull up to a red light and happen to look out my driver's side window where I see someone dressed as Elvis <laughs> at a bus station. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck? She says, I'm talking the sparkly body suit and wig, like oh. full on Elvis. Okay. I was wondering like bl- hot blue Hawaii Elvis. Yeah. 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 Like what, El- what, Elvis? what Elvis era are we talking yeah. about? Um, so now I'm sure we're in the purge and no one told me. <laughs> That's good. When the light turns green, I keep going and the guy behind me ends up taking a turn and not following me anymore. Oh. Jesus. Gosh. That's so scary. Turn right at the Elvis. Um, she says, I literally laughed out loud in my car because it was so wild. All of this happened in like a 20 minute span. I still don't know what the deal with Elvis was, and the flyer in my car windshield was for a local psychic. Ironically, not long after I listened, not long after I started taking anxiety medication. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Um, she says, "Thanks for a great podcast. You can read this on the air if you want to, or don't. Ha ha. I just really wanted to share. Stay excellent, Carly. Oh, oh, God, that's it's scary. Yeah, I would scary. I would have been freaked out, especially like I would have been like, okay, now there's an Elvis, like." Fuck everything. Yeah, now there's an Elvis. Everybody go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm for sure calling the police. Get out of here. Jesus, I need you. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus, take the whole fucking car. <laughs> I am the Elvis. Yeah, I am the Elvis. Oh my gosh. That's weird. That's okay. not cool, man. Going back to 911, though. Uh huh. If you would call, they could also just talk to you. Because, like, they would probably just talk to you about tell me what's happening before dispatching someone. Sure, right? sure. So yeah. You wouldn't use up too many resources. Yeah. I, I, you would, the worst you would do would be to tie up a line. Yeah. Of yeah. No one, one, but yeah. Yeah. But still. But still. Uh, good, good, good instincts. Good instincts. Good yeah. Elvis sighting. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know. Well, and going back to the whole thing of um, where you're always on high alert being a woman, it's fucking valid because mm-hmm. just a few days ago here in D.C., a woman was out on a run, 8 p.m. It, the sun had just gone down. It wasn't like pitch black dark out. Yeah. It was, Everybody's still getting off work. There's people everywhere getting dinner, like walking around on the sidewalk. Yeah. In my neighborhood. Like this isn't in some, you know, creepy back alley. This is right. like. This is like in a very active part of my neighborhood. Yeah. And she's just on this on the corner waiting for the light to turn green or to turn to the the, the walk signal. Sorry, bud. I'm going to get you over Aww. here. And she's just waiting to to run again on the corner and a guy randomly comes up to her and stabs her. Jesus. And stabs her to death. <gasps> and for no reason, just totally random. It was so fucked up. Everybody was so freaked out. Oh my um, God. As it turns out, I don't, we don't know, like, what was going on with this guy. People were, like, thinking, is this, like, th- nobody knew, like, what, yeah. was, what the motive was. But there's, like, people all around that saw it and were super, <gasps> super scared. And they... Um, they couldn't help her? They couldn't help her. Well, oh. a couple of people, like, pulled her into, like, a, a, a like nearby like Chinese restaurant and tried to like um oops tried to administer like CPR and to stop her bleeding but she died like oh god it was that bad um oh my god it was terrible very traumatic there's like there's like a a it's like caught on camera and stuff oh like oh my god and they caught the guy like 48 hours after it had happened cuz he's on all these cameras and stuff yeah and uh the thought is like he was like maybe having an episode or maybe um he had taken K2, oh. which there's been, like, a lot of shit that's been happening because of that shit. It's artificial marijuana. 
smoke the real stuff you'll be chill yeah but it's not but this is the thing like it's not accessible to everybody yeah. like we as oh. white people can just easily get weed and yeah. you know pay for it and not have to worry about going to jail for it yeah but this k2 shit you can get it like a fucking convenience store fucking 7-eleven and it's not regulated and it's so fucking bad oh my god so yeah how can it be sold if it's this bad you think like they just stop selling it everywhere. well they're trying to but yeah. it's like there's there's no regulation. There's no law about it yet. Yeah. And with weed, the laws are so fucked up that people are, like, afraid to smoke it. Oh, my God. All, but this is also a good PSA for not running with earbuds in, um, which I always just run with one. Oh, yeah. Like, especially if it's, like, early in the morning or no one's around. Mm-hmm. Um, but my aunt recently posted a video to her page She's in the group. I don't know if she still listens to the podcast, but maybe she'll post it in the group if she hears this. Um, and it was a video, a self-defense video oh. for runners. because, And it was this woman who, and it, and I think it was like a Krav Maga teacher or something, but it was a self-defense video. And so the first part, the woman runs through and she has earbuds in. She can't hear anything around her. Mm-hmm. Um, and she like, she still... Each time she, like, does better, but each time she's still trying to be polite. Uh-huh. In a way, like, like, and then they show, so take out your earbuds so you could hear, and when you hear something, turn around, look them in the eye, which I feel like I've talked about before. I look everyone in the eye I run by. Because yeah. Because it's, it's a deterrent, actually, to look someone in the eye and be like, I see you. Yeah. So, because they could pass you and turn around and do something, you know. Yeah. Um, so it's, like, important to look everyone in the eye and try not to run with earbuds this could have happened regardless i mean it sounds like the person just like had a a break but that's my little psa no that's true i mean that's for anything when you walk around dc like you always you always look people in the eye yeah you you don't Don't get on your your phone don't be on your phone i always tell pete put your phone away yeah you're that's how you get mugged yeah and also it's like oh he's like i would do something if someone came up it's like no you're you're distracted and i'm here like i'd have to deal with it yeah i know i know (laughs) Well, that's the thing. It, people are gonna are that are looking to do harm or looking. To, it's opportunistic, you know, yeah. things. But this person, this is what's so scary about it is that I he regardless of there be people being around and Still does. and sh- her maybe even being alert and maybe yeah. even have interacted with him. Who knows? I don't know what what actually happened, but yeah. like she might have just been like. You know, maybe he said something to her and, and she was like, no, leave me alone. Or yeah. maybe she ignored him. Yeah, but yeah. this is the thing. You don't know. Men are very scary yeah. without us even, like, being aware yeah. half the time that we have to be on alert because of yeah. this shit. And this is why. Oh. Because who fucking knows? Oh and I God. hate And I hate that that's a thing. And I, of course, don't think that about everybody. But, like... I think it about people I don't know on the street. It doesn't matter... Any man. Any even man. Even old man. I old had an man. old man grab my boob. An old gay man grabbed my boob the other night. What the fuck? Dude. It was weird. Actually, he had also been married to a woman. Hmm. But but it was upsetting. And you're like, you can't do that. I was trying to help him. He was like a 72-year-old man, and he was wasted outside of a gay bar. And he had fallen down. And oh, I was like no. sitting with him until they could call him a cab. And he grabbed my boob. And I was like, oh, no. And then I left. I, what? I was trying to be nice. Man. Anyway. Well, fuck. You don't know. Every dude who you don't know and some who you do know can be awful. So just be on alert. Oh, I've had <laughs> I've had dudes that I are my good friends, like, do... Be weird. Be weird and do fucked up things to me. Like, yeah. Like, you oh. know. And, I mean, I'm still friends with them, but, like, you Ew. know. But deep down, but, like, I But hate you. I, like, still think about these shitty things that yeah. happen. Yeah. And it's, like, it sucks, so... It sucks. Anyway, PSA. PSA. Don't be fucking weird. Um, do you want to hear a story called the Goodwill Dildo? Uh, yes! <laughs> I was like, is this Goodwill hunting? Or is nope. this, like, Goodwill, like, the, the, I think like, it's, so, like. Oh, let's find out. Okay. It could be, like, Goodwill hunting. Okay. Like, this is a dildo that solves math problems. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is it a dildo slash calculator? Yeah. Is, is there, like, a great soundtrack along with it? <laughs> like, what's happening? Um. Is this dildo, does this dildo belong to a problematic white man? Oh, I don't know. Matt Damon? Matt Damon. Um, uh, Okay. 
Hi guys, my name is Katie. I live in a small town on the North Oregon coast. My husband and I own a landscape maintenance company. We had a maintenance contract at the Goodwill in our town. This was our oh, least favorite. So yes, the Goodwill. Okay, okay, the Goodwill. The Goodwill. Yeah. This was our least favorite contract as people would leave dirty diapers and random gross garbage in the bushes of the parking lot all the time. Damn. Oh, okay, so her company, she does landscaping at the Goodwill in her town and people are just like leaving trash. That's really sad. That sucks. Like, ugh, humans are awful. Totally. Um, last summer, I received a picture from my husband of a flesh-colored quote-unquote thing lying in the bark beneath some bushes. Oh, I, no. I couldn't tell what it was, so I zoomed in. It was a real live dildo. <laughs> <laughs> live? Oh, no. Part of our contract was hauling away the garbage that we cleaned up, so my husband put it in a five-gallon bucket and brought it back to the shop. <laughs> Like some... it's like, like it's like a trapped wild animal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bucket dildo. Now. Yeah. Um, we forgot about it until a few months later when two of my friends were up visiting from my hometown. My girlfriend went on a Tinder date and my guy friend and I had the great idea to mess with her and put the giant dildo into her luggage. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I hate practical jokes, but that is fun. That's funny. That's like a prank, and it's like lighthearted. Yeah, it is. It's pretty funny. Actually. Oh no, but it hadn't been cleaned at this point. Oh, what if she got hepatitis B from it? Oh, <laughs> hepatitis D. Hepatitis D. <laughs> or hepatitis B for someone else's vagina. Yeah. Um, it hadn't been cleaned at this point, so my husband brings it into the house in the five-gallon bucket, and we dump it into my big utility sink. I turned on the hot water. Oh, they cleaved it. They cleaned it. Okay. I turned on the hot water, gloved up, and. Did she put condoms on her hands? Uh huh. <laughs> um, and covered, and oh, uh, sorry. I turned on the hot wa- the hot water, gloved up, and grabbed the nearest bleach cleaner that happened to be you guessed it foaming bleach. So I had so I now had a giant flesh colored dildo, balls and all, covered in white foam. Ew! In my sink. <laughs> <laughs> we were all dying laughing. I think I peed myself a little. <laughs> I mean, girl, I'm about to. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> oh, Jack hates it. Jack hates foamy dildos. Um, I finally decided it was clean enough and dried it off and hid it deep in my friend's bag. Oh, Fast my forward goodness. a few days later, I had at this point forgotten about the Goodwill dildo. <laughs> my girlfriend called. We just casually chatted like always. She asked me what I was doing, and I said cleaning the house. She replied. She replied with, don't you need your dick for that? (laughs) I was caught off guard until I finally remembered the Goodwill dildo. Apparently, she had waited a couple of days to unpack, and when she finally did, it went rolling out across her hallway floor. (laughs) So she put it in a shoebox and drove around with it in her trunk for months while we tried to decide who would be the next dildo recipient. Oh, my God. That's great. That's That's like icing somebody. Oh, that's so fun. (laughs) One of our friends from college pissed her off one day, so we decided he should be the next recipient. (laughs) The next time she came to visit, we boxed it up with a note about the origin of the dildo. Oh, like, this is from the Goodwill? It's it's like Jumanji, or, yeah, it's like, it's like, (laughs) this is crazy. It's Jumanji. Oh, my God. I love this practical joke. Oh, my God. Uh, Okay, so they, um... They did, they they had to write a note to her. Oh, yeah, uh, uh... Okay, with a note about the origin of the dildo, afraid that he would try to use it on someone. Oh. Oh, oh, oh like a sexy oh, thing. But oh. it's like, this is used. We don't know where it's been. That please don't insert this into something. But you washed somebody. it. I mean, you could disinfect I mean, it. I mean. I mean. You want I it, wouldn't, You want it sterilized at that you point. You want it sterilized. But I mean, but just saying. Um, uh, I mailed it off, and a few days later, I went to the post office to check our P.O. box, and I had a note that I had a package. I opened the bigger P.O. box, and lo and beho- behold, the dildo came back. <laughs> I, like a boomerang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like a bad dream. A recurring nightmare. An STD. If you will. <laughs> oh, yeah, there. I guess we typed the wrong address on the label, and the damn thing came back to me. I corrected the address and sent it off. A few days later, we received a video of our friend opening it and freaking the heck out. He still doesn't <laughs> know we are the ones who sent it. So anyways, that's my fucked up story about the Goodwill dildo. It's almost a tongue twister. 
Good, the Goodwill dildo. Yeah, that is. Say it three times fast. The Goodwill dildo. The Goodwill dildo. The Goodwill dildo. Oh. The Goodwill oh, dildo. Yeah, it's yeah hard. there it got it's you. Hard. I have a hard time with my braces and all the spit in my mouth. It's hard. Um, probably not that fucked up, but I thought it was pretty fucked up that someone left a giant dildo in the Goodwill parking lot. Like, why? How? What were you doing that it got left there? <laughs> so many questions. I mean, I could probably guess, but yeah. Ugh. Ugh. They took it to fuck down in the Goodwill parking lot. Yeah. And then they you don't, want it back. You don't know what goes down in a Goodwill parking lot. Uh-uh. In any parking lot. Yeah. So many questions. Also, my friend now has PTSD, and every time I give her a present, she gets freaked out and thinks it's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> That's like Pavlov's dog. I like that, though. It's like, keep your friends on their, on their toes. Yeah. Maybe I'm going to do this now. Instead of just random dildos yeah. to people? Mm-hmm. I think it's fun. P.S. I've attached the original picture that my husband sent me. Oh, my God. Let me Let see. Let me show you. <laughs> I have this one actually. Oh no! It's for it's for sketch props, uh, so it's never been. Does it suction to stuff? Yeah, yeah, that's and that's made, a good one. And I one time in sketch rehearsal made my friend who's a dude stick it to his forehead, <laughs> and now every time he has to use it because for some reason we write a lot of sketches that require fake dicks, and cool. he's always the one that like is whipping it out or like has. Because he's, like, kind of bro Yeah, bit. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but he's always trying to stick it to his forehead, and that's just a treat. That's great. Anyway, I think that's all. And that was a very excellent, uh, batch, a very excellent batch of, story. Yeah. Yeah, all the stories are very good, all very different. Yeah. Some um, are, like, fucked up scary. Well, sorry. Hold Jack on. is, a, he's done. He's, he's done. like, you know what? He's it's like, you hours. guys, please stop. Yeah. How long are we going to have to do this, Mom? Yeah. Um... Oh no, he's really losing it. <laughs> well, yeah, these were all very good. Um, we love your stories. Yeah, send more. Send more. Yeah, please. Um, and that's probably it. Yeah, you could follow us on social media. Yep, a uh, DTFU podcast. Go to the website dtfupodcast dot com. Yeah, we have a website. If you didn't know, I made it. Uh, yeah, Erin <laughs> fucking made it. Yeah, Erin's made a website. She makes a podcast. She made a human. I'm, is she a creator? I'm a creator. Yes. Yes. 100%. 100%. Um, she made this home. I, yeah, I mean, it's been here for over 100 years. Well, so. she made it a home. Yeah. She made it at home. I, it, it's a house that's been here for a long time, but now it's a home. <laughs> huh, Jack? Huh. 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 I feel like he is not falling asleep, but he wants to. He's a or real. Or maybe he took a dump. He's a real dick right now. <laughs> Uh, he may have shit himself. No, he's fine. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Well, and also, if you are an iTunes listener, subscribe. Give us a re- review. We love Rate, it. Rate, review, subscribe. Hell yeah. Um, and also, be excellent. Be excellent to each other and yourselves. Yeah. Bye-bye. Right. Bye-bye. Bye.